We're going to create a collagraph. A collagraph is a basic method of printmaking using cardboard and collage materials glued together to, to make a printing plate. And calligraphy was introduced in 1955 by Glenn Alps. Here's a picture of him in his studio and some of his artwork. There's also some student work that was done using paint instead of just crayons, which we're gonna try. So these are materials I think you might have at home. This is my first design, and I was inspired by this rabbit drawing I found. You're gonna need some materials to get us started. Can you find some recyclables, like cardboard from cereal boxes or tissue boxes? You'll need some glue and scissors, maybe some tape, and eventually we're gonna need some paper and crayons to make our print from. So go ahead and pause this video while you gather those supplies. I'm gonna cut one of my boxes so I have a flat piece for my base. I'm just gonna cut all of the folds in the side so it's nice and smooth. So here's my base. And then for my next design, I think I'm gonna do um, a daffodil for spring. So this is a flower that's kind of a symbol for springtime. And I don't wanna draw it exactly the way it looks. I'm gonna actually sketch it out kind of like a puzzle. So I'm drawing some of the shapes that I saw in that template. Then I'm gonna cut the pieces out so you can see I've laid out all of the puzzle pieces. And I'm gonna try and rearrange them on my background as uh, the flower. So first I'm gonna place them to make sure that I have the right pieces and, and I know where they're gonna go. And after I get them arranged so they, they look good, then I can, I can make some additions if I need to. So maybe I wanna add some extra petals or a layer in the center to show the, the parts of the flower. I'm gonna do a lot of overlapping too because that's gonna make it look more realistic. Then I'm gonna glue the pieces down one at a time and I've got to be a little patient right now. So while you're waiting for your glue to dry, go find some crayons, because we're going to need crayons for our printmaking, and the crayons can't have any paper on them. So go ahead and peel off the wrappers, and you're going to need some tape at this point and something to make a rubbing on, some clean paper. So I'm going to tape the corners of my art, and you don't have to tape everything, but just so it doesn't move around on you. And then I'll also tape the piece of paper that I'm gonna do my rubbing on, so that it doesn't move while I'm rubbing the crayons. And pick one color at a time, and just kind of gently to get started, add some pressure to, to get the color to show up, and, and you can go over it with as many colors as you'd like to, I think two or three, um, it's probably a, a good start. And then you can always go back and add more colors. So here's my final product with the daffodil turned out all right and I like the rabbit I thought that maybe it would be fun to make some prints for my family for Easter gifts so I I've combined my images hope you enjoyed this and hope you uh, have a happy Easter see you soon